What's going on everyone? It's Greg back with some more Mirror Four. And today I am trying so hard to make this a short video, so I'm going to really, really push it now. I, this is probably my fourth time recording this. But guys, I want to talk about Mirage. Everyone's been asking me about it, and I don't really want to go into the details about how it works. You can check out Daniel Drogi's video on, on Mirage and kind of get a basic understanding of the teams and stuff like that. I just want to talk some numbers and is Mirage even worth it? That is the big question, right? That's the question on the title. Is Mirage worth it? And you know, why did I clickbait you with the amount in the thumbnail or the, or the title? Well, surprising or you know what may come as a shock to you is I'm gonna go ahead and say that overall and overall overall picture Mirage to me is not worth it not worth it at all at all and there's one primary reason for that and that is because right now your characters do not advance in Mirage characters don't get stronger like they do in game and your character has to be sealed to be in Mirage so to me it's not worth it if you can't advance your character because then the value of that character in terms of the game itself is going to decrease because like whatever level 95 is today you know it's expected in like a month from now that the character is like 105 and if you know you have 100 105 character today that's a lot better than a level 95 if you're level 95, stays level 95 next month, where other people who are the same level are now 105, your character is getting destroyed. So to me, the value of the character itself in the game, not necessarily dollar value, but in the game, is not worth it. Because you're going to lose too much. Now, dollar value wise, I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen with the market, the NFT market, and things like that. It, it could go up, could go down, could crash completely. Who knows? Um and but i would venture to guess that if your character hasn't changed at all then the value of that nft has decreased when even dollar value rise so that is my reason why i do not believe in mirage now i do feel like there's some uses for mirage let's say you're going to go out of town or something you don't want to sell your character but you don't want you can't log in to afk it then okay we have some options now right we have an option to earn some dark steel while we're out Maybe earn a little Draco, sell the Draco, make some money. You know, it, it's, it's a good little option, especially if you're more free to play or a light spender and you enjoy the game, you play the game, you need to take a few week break. So let's take a look at what those numbers look like, right? Like I said, I'm not going to go into details of how this works, but the basics is the higher your power score, the better. The higher your power score is which in the bat within the valley that you are farming, the less likely it is someone's going to knock you out. And right now is better you know because there's not that many people doing mirage but even you come down the line i don't know how many servers they're willing to add but if they don't you know at some point they don't add then you know you hit that cap on the server you're gonna start knocking people out and if you can't knock someone out or you're really low and you get knocked out it's gonna cost you in vigor and the vigor is bought with hydra it's not gonna be worth leasing out on all that hydra uh, or all that vigor it's gonna hurt you and it's gonna hurt your profit so that's how this we got. We got a bigger system. If you buy more pills, it's gonna cost you a little bit cheaper. Um, 20% bonus. So keep that in mind. Now, they do have boss rate coming soon. So I just want to say I don't know what this is gonna be able to give you. Maybe some items or something. I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna look like. Maybe if it does come out, then I'll give it a shot. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, if I can get to 170k power, which I'm around 162 right now, but that's in the clan. If I get to 170k power, I will seal up for a little bit and maybe do a season in hidden in red moon to kind of show you guys how this really works but until then i'm going to talk it through talk it through a little bit talk through the numbers right vision valley 400,000 dark steel a day snake pit 3 million a day red moon 30 million a day these are your average numbers so vision to me is not worth it that's going to be approximately one draco one draco right now is 53 cents um, maybe to go up, maybe to go down. Um, if you're, you know, looking at my <laughs> my thumbnail, my title, whatever, my clickbait, uh, I say 75 bucks a day, or maybe I said 100 dollars a day. It's based on some inflated numbers, right? It depends on if Draco goes up. It depends on the, the smelting fee goes down. 
anything like that. It can fluctuate. So that is um the reality there. We'll talk about what it is in the current day price as of me recording this. Vision Valley is approximately one Draco, 53 cents per day, 15 bucks a month, 16 bucks a month, 17 bucks a month, maybe up to 20. So let's be let's be liberal, say $20 a month. So $20 a month on a uh, fishing. Mm, I mean, you can get an NFT for like a, a little over a hundred bucks now. So that's not a bad rate of, re rate of return on investment, but it's, uh, if you have a low level or low power score and like closer to the hundred K mark, very likely you can get kicked out of the Valley. And if you get kicked out, if you get kicked out the Valley, then you're missing out and you wasted vigor. That's just, to me, it's not worth it. To me, Bishon is not worth it at all. That's just my opinion. Snake Pit. You put a character in Snake Pit, um, you can average three million a day. That's a little bit better, right? You can average. Um, I already crunched these numbers. I didn't want to waste too much time on the video. Um, you can try to keep this to about ten minutes. Three million uh, with a four hundred thousand smelt rate. Looking at um, uh, seven point five Draco per day. So fifteen Draco every two days. Or well, seven point five, uh, approximately a hundred and uh, hundred and ten, hundred and twenty Draco. Let's say hundred and twenty Draco per month. So we go with a hundred and twenty Draco per month. Then um, you know that's like sixty bucks a month. It's not too shabby, especially if it's your character you developed in the game. There's a lot of free to play players that meet that mark. Um, you know, it's it's definitely not too bad. If you're not having to log in and stuff like that, it's not going to kill you. But you're not going to gain value in your character. Your character is not going to advance. That's the key thing. Character is not going to advance. That's not good. Not good at all. So, three million per day could also help you with some upgrades in game stuff like that. So, snake snake has some potential. If you're going to be gone for a couple weeks um, and you need some dark steel, it's better than trying to AFK in the valley. Um, it's definitely going to be worth, it's better than having to try to log in in AFK and keep up with that um, while you're on vacation. So Snake Pit, I, to me, is a very good vacation thing to do, right? As long as you have a good enough power not to get knocked out. Let's look at Red Moon. This is where things get interesting, right? 30 million per day. So 30 million per day, you can get 75 Draco per day. At, at least the current rate. Let's, let's say current at the the four hundred thousand smelt rate. Seventy five Draco. Not bad. Not bad at all. So what? Uh, like thirty five to forty bucks a day. This is talking about the exact price right now. Now this is where I was. You know, man says seventy five or one hundred dollars per day. Kind of clickbait you guys a little bit. At one point that was the case though, right? If you were when this first opened, you were in red mode, you could be up around the ninety dollar a day mark. Of course, now the value's down, so it's down, but that was possible, and that's not bad, right? You could be making like twenty five hundred dollars a month, thirty three thousand dollars a month. That's that's not bad for Red Moon, but Red Moon you need one hundred seventy thousand power score or more. No free to play has that or is getting that right now. Mm -hmm. I don't even think of Asia servers, even though they were out for a month longer. Um, it's just it's just not possible right now, unless you were putting money into the game, or maybe maybe you were getting a lot of resources in game and selling a lot of dark steel or whatever. That could have you up there, but most people are not going to be up there. The cheapest character on the NFT market right now that could farm in Red Moon is around six six thousand eight hundred dollars. We'll just say seven thousand dollars. So, you know, after a few months, you could pay for that NFT. As long as you're not getting knocked out of Red Moon, that's actually not a bad deal. I mean, that's a pretty good return on investment. Um, you know, by my calculations, you can end up with like a 40% return on investment over a three month period in Red Moon. Uh, given the lower end NFTs, that is not bad at all. Um, especially if you want to put together a team. So, um, my thoughts there are that, you know, if I'm going on vacation or something, I can see Mirage as a very viable option, but overall, I do not see putting my characters in Mirage or getting NFTs before Mirage because those NFT values are going to drop. 
even dollar wise i think they're going to drop because you, you if you can't advance it in the game like it's right now the biggest value for the nft comes from the game and if you can't advance in the game then you're not increasing the value of your nft you you are staying static while everyone else is moving up and that's going to lower your value it's just as plain and simple as that until they come out with something that you're earning maybe xp while you're doing this or something then maybe i can see it being worth it i don't even see why they wouldn't do that like like i can understand like you can't gain xp in mine in in game but i don't really see a particular reason with that reason not to do that in mirage like you're still missing out on a lot of stuff such as gaining items and things like that farming a lot of stuff so there's still downsides but if you're at the minimum of gaining levels that that's pretty good that, that would help to maintain the value of your character so that's my thought. Like, I really feel like they should, you know, implement some kind of mechanism for that. They do have a basically a teaser here for boss raids. Boss raid coming soon. <laughs> Who knows what that's going to be? What kind of items you can get? Um, maybe that's going to be worth it. I don't know. But at the core, guys, you know, my conclusion here is that Mirage is not really worth it overall uh, for that core reason of not being able to maintain and increase the level of your NFT simple as that i can't really put it in a simpler way if you guys really want me to do some kind of explanation video or detail on this let me know what i will say and i'll try to promise is that once i do hit uh, i can hit 170k outside of a clan and seal my character i will seal it and put it in red moon just to show you guys some actual actual numbers and um you know i even have a vacation coming up so it could could come in handy for me um but i will do that i would like to show you guys those numbers here and really um what what it has the potential to do but until then this is what i got for you if you do have questions you can let me know down in the comments please 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 check out daniel drogi's video if you want some more details on how it works how this roster works how you can increase the power um on your team based on actually having a team um at the end of the day though even though the mirage score is different still relates to power it's still right uh, like a ratio of the power right so the higher power you got the better you are off you are it's still going to be a 171k character is going to knock out 170k char character there's nothing else is based on the only other aspect mechanic that is in game that is used in the nft in this particular instance is your tower for your septaria that applies to your septaria game each day on barrage so keep that in mind as well so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you hit that like button if you're not subscribed to hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on i'll catch you guys in the next video